Hey boys and girls, welcome to tonight's flip video. This will be all about using a ruler, which is a pretty basic skill, but we're going to talk about what all those little lines on them mean. So here we've got a very zoomed in version of a ruler, and we're just going to be worried about this one inch here. If you notice, where the ruler starts is technically zero and one. To me, it kind of looks like a fraction number line. And simply, it is a fraction number line. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then those are all eighths. So we know each tiny line is 1 eighth of an inch. So if you have three of them, it's 3 eighths of an inch. If you have seven of them, it's seven eighths of an inch. If you have eight, it's eight eighths of an inch, or just simply one hole. But there's another one. If you notice, you see this bigger looking one. That is half of an inch. And you know that. Pretty much it's, you know, the whole inch and a half inch by this point in your life. And on some rulers, this line and this line will be elongated, but not quite as, and this will be even longer, and this will be really long. Those are kind of special, because they're, they are eighths, but they're not halves, but they're not wholes, but they're also, in addition to being eighths, they are, that one would be one-fourth, this one would be three-fourths. The way we can prove that, as you know, is with butterfly. We've got two-eighths, one-fourth, for a butterfly, we know that those are equivalent fractions. So we know that we could call that two eighths, but it'd be easier to call it one half, just like we could call four eighths one half. But you just need to recognize that each little line is one eighth, and we can compound them from there. So on this slide, we've got a picture that I have taken of Connor, and I'm just going to measure various things. So I'm going to measure the distance between his two ears. Now this is obviously not to scale because he is, you know, this makes it seem like he's only a little over two inches long. He's much longer. But on this picture, if I measure, and we've got, we know each little line is an eighth. So we've got one eighth, two eighths, three eighths because they're each an eighth. Three eighths between his ears. Now, let's measure the remote control over there. Eh, we've got one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. Hold on, we know four eighths means something else. It's one half. Let's measure the hole from his, um, his paw to where the picture cuts off. So we've actually entered this, we're past the first inch, we're a little past the second inch, so I know that I'm going to have a whole number there. I'm going to have a whole number of two. And then I've got one eighth, two eighths, and two, two eighths. But I just said on the first slide that two eighths is something else. It's actually one quarter. So it, he, that whole picture is two and one quarter, <coughs> excuse me, inches long. And on some rulers, these, the, oops, this would be extended slightly, so you would know that that's one-fourth of an inch. Because if we were to color over, let's see if this works, if we were to color over, no, that's not going to work. But if we, let's see, we go two, one, two, three, four, it's another way that we can prove that it's one-fourth we kind of skip the little eighth lines. So just some more things for you to think about. Now you bring back to school problem. This is going to be a little bit interesting. I want you to measure the paper that you're writing on. You can measure it side to side or top to bottom, horizontal, horizontal or vertical. And use uh, measure the pencil that you're writing with. I'll actually be measuring all of your papers when you come in tomorrow. So I want it to the nearest eighth of an inch. So that's your bring back to school problem. Hopefully you have a ruler. If not, you'll have to use some problem solving there. And I'll see you in the morning.